Hey, what's up? This is Metasaur36 coming with another toy review. Uh, this today we have the Transformers Jafcon exclusive from 2000. Uh, this is the Black Convoy uh, reissue Convoy Optimus Prime figure Generation 1 repaint. And apparently only 800 were made. Uh, and this is one of the rare repaints uh, of the mold and this came out around in 2000 when they were starting to reissue all the G1 figures for the first time uh, to celebrate the 15th or 16th year anniversary of Transformers depending where you were at the time in Japan they came out in 1985 so this was the 15th anniversary and this is the look at the box this was a remake of the original G1 uh, Optimus Prime Takara version box and as you can see on the box it has the black and gold sticker representing the uh, 15 year anniversary and if you can read Japanese it says uh, black version and there are many KOs of this out there but most of them are in the Hasbro version box and let's take a look at the back of the box and you can see uh, the stickers here, black version 2000, and the original uh, box arts from the Hasbro figures. And of course, most of the pictures are of the regular uh, red and blue Hopkins Prime we all have come to know. And let's look at the box, it is a nice box, uh, as you can see. Now let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. Okay, now we have the figure out and let me show you what was in the box. Well, the stickers are applied already. I, bu I did buy this used, uh, but it came with a sticker sheet. Also, it came with uh, instructions. They are printed on black and white, uh, I guess red paper. But if you don't know how to transform a G1 Optimus Prime by now, well, I don't know what to say about that. But it also comes with the, one of the collector cards for Convoy, of course. Okay. And well, let's take a look at the figure in the box. And here it is. Comes with a plastic tray. Whoops. And many of the reissues came on these, in these plastic trays, not in the styrofoam. Comes with the missiles, they are still not removed, sealed in the package. This is the hose. Now, it is disintegrated and pretty much useless, but it is still sealed. Now, I did buy this used, as I mentioned, and funny story, it was a pretty ridiculous price at, uh, at a used store I go to. Uh, but for some reason, I guess someone finally opened up the box and checked the insides and they realized that it was not completely mint and they knocked off the price uh, by half, which is why I picked it up and um, I'm not going to mention how much it was because it was kind of ridiculous, but still a better deal than i ever seen before, so I decided to pick it up. Also, it comes with the hose nozzle and the part for a roller and of course two fists and here is the roller it comes with all black and with the headlight stickers now if uh, I didn't if I bought this figure new I probably wouldn't have put the stickers on uh, but since it's on there I'll leave it there and here is the gun it comes with the Ion Blaster that Prime usually comes with. And let me take the figure out of the box now. Now here's the figure and it is a very good looking repainted mold. The uh, paint on this is great. Uh, the colors don't really match with the die cast uh, front cap part and the back part. But uh, let me get a closer look. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the paint is, it's not a pure black, it's kind of a, um, kind of a metallic style black, uh, it has a little bit of a goldish 
hue to it and it is very nice uh, it's not getting too clear on camera I believe but in person it is really nice let me try to get some more light on this uh, as you can see it is not a pure black unfortunately this part and this part does not match but it is a minor detail in my opinion of course the rub sign works it is an Autobot not a Decepticon like the masterpiece figures this was uh, back in 2000 before they started doing the Nemesis Prime style uh, Decepticon version and so it still has the Autobot logos now I don't have the original G1 Prime on hand but I do have a reissued um, music label Optimus Prime that came out a few years back this is also a reissue so you notice the front uh, rims it's a little um, protruded it's coming out but it'll work for the review now this version does not have the Autobot logo here rub sign there is a metal disc here and later on I'll show you why but as you can see here the windows are blue here on this one the windows are kind of a oldish hue it's not kind of a brownish tint it's not exactly clear plastic it's, it does have a tint to it but it is the typical prime uh, G1 prime figure and it does look good Let's take a look here on the sides and if you've seen one G1 Prime it's pretty much the same just with a different color now to get other uh, size comparisons let me get trailer back on here okay now I have a few other figures uh, let me get some of the more modern vehicles here we have a couple of classics uh, mold cars we have Sunstreaker and Sideswipe and they scale pretty well I think and let's get some of his uh, G1 buddies in there take these guys out I don't have many on hand but I have a G1 Huffer and a G1 Skids so See the scale there. Of course, these are from the Diaclone Car Robot line originally, but uh, they all work well together here. And I also have a another black convoy. This is from the R.I.D. Robots in the Skies Car Robots uh, line. Sorry, I had to move figures because the Car Robots version is much bigger. And of course, this is the Scourge or Black Convoy, whatever you prefer to call it. Very lovely figure. I do enjoy this one very much, as well as this one. Of course, it was taken out from the G2 uh, Laser Cannon Prime mode. And as you can see, the G2 mode is a lot bigger than the G1 mode. But they both look very well together, and both are Black Convoys, if you will. And I think they work very well. And as I mentioned before, I have the music label Prime. I'll bring in his trailer now. For those of you that don't know, uh, it comes with this trailer. And this trailer is a little different from the G1 uh, figure. It does turn into a speaker uh, port for your iPod. And it does work well. It doesn't work with the newer version iPods. It works with the older generation. As you can see here, I don't have an iPod now as this is not a review for this figure, but maybe in a later video I'll do a review for that. But uh, for those of you that want this figure, it is a great one as well, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Let's get that to the side for now. And since we took a look at this tab, uh, let's take a look at the trailer. Uh, if you own a G1 Prime, I'm sure most of you do, 
Uh, it's pretty much the same, it's just a black version of it. Uh, as you can see in the trailer, maybe you can't see, but it is a similar paint job to the uh, cab and it has kind of a flake, flaky uh, finish on it and kind of a goldish hue. Also a very well made trailer. Again, it does have the Autobots logos, not the Decepticon ones. But let's take a look at it. Of course, you open the back door like this, and the side panels, and there you go. And this part opens for the Diaclone driver. And of course, you put the missiles in there. I'm not going to do it for the review. And if you take a look, it has the nice decals, nice plastic molding pieces here. And there are some nice stickers in there. And since this is the Japanese version of the trailer, the spring in here shoots out a lot more pronounced than the American version. I put the roller in there. And it shoots pretty far and pretty loudly. So be careful when shooting your roller because you never know, you might lose it and you don't want to do that. But overall, it's pretty much the same as a typical G1 Optimus Prime. And of course, it fits in there. And that's a look at the trailer. Now, we'll go on to look at his robot mode. Now, to transform Prime, you just simply open up the arms and extend it like that. And then you flip the head open. And then you extend the legs, flip the feet. There you go. You put in the fists that come with the figure, as well as his gun. And there you go. There you have it. There is Prime. Now, let me bring in the music label Prime that I have. As you can see, the face sculpt is a little different as this is from a, taken from the original G1 Prime. This one is a redone head. And the reason why I got this figure is because of this. It is on a ball joint, so it can actually move up and down and rotate. So this is actually one of the better uh, remakes of the original G1 Prime. And let's take a look at the face a little closer. And here's a look at the faces. Now, look at that. This is fairly animation accurate, especially for a G1 mode. Of course, it's not as good as MP10, but it's pretty good. And again, it rotates. Now, it's not a review for this figure, but I highly recommend this figure. And I just want to show you how it looks with the Black uh, Optimus Prime Black Convoy remake. Let me put this on the side for now. And if you can see his face, kind of hard to see here, but his face is all black with a gray or silver uh, face shield, and it's pretty nice. So let's take a look at it with some other figures, some slightly more modern figures. First up, I have a classic uh, smokescreen, the Henke version. Yeah, as you can see, the smokescreen scales pretty well to Prime, even though they're made in different generations. Uh, let's get another more recent character. This one is also a smoke screen. This is the Combiner Wars smoke screen. These are both deluxes, but it works pretty well with modern toys right now. Look at that. Pretty good scale. Okay, I'll take these two out. And let's get some G1 figures to scale with him. Now, first up, I have a Target Master Hot Rod. And maybe it's not a great skill, but they're both from uh, Generation 1. Let's get another G1 figure. Not one of the most better figures, but this is a uh, 
twin twist um, figure and it definitely doesn't scale of course they are all from three different lines originally so again G1 scale gotta love it and let me get one more figure in here take these uh, G1 figures out and let me get a masterpiece figure in here this is masterpiece uh, blue streak silver streak whatever you want to call them, the streak in Japan and of course it's not masterpiece scale obviously and here they are with uh, the black scourge black nemesis prime whatever you want to call him g2 mode optimus prime and he's a lot bigger than both of these figures so it kind of scales well with the masterpiece figure i didn't really realize that but that's the sign and here they are the g1 prime mode and the g2 prime mode both repainted as black convoys and if you like black convoys or the black repaints or Optimus Primes in general, I would uh, suggest getting this figure. It is, a, it is a nice one. Now, final thoughts on this figure. Uh, it is a very nice one. Uh, if you're a fan of the black convoys or the Optimus Prime mode in general, this is a great one to own. Now, it is a little pricey. As I mentioned earlier, uh, only 800 were made. This was back in 2000. It was a Jafcon. Uh, Toy Show exclusive figure and they are very hard to find there are KOs floating around but this one I believe goes for retail um, in the 150 to 300 dollar range more or less depending if it's new used whatever uh, so it's not for everyone but it is a very nice one if you can get one at a decent price now let me transform back uh, for the review uh, for more about the truck. Of course you take off the fists here, you flip back the head and the arms, go back, put the arms back in here, put the trigger back, and there you go. That's what I love about G1 figures, they were so easy to transform most of the time, very quick, very easy. And here's a last look at the Optimus Prime in truck mode. Uh, let me do one more thing before I end this review. Uh, it does work with the original Prime, so if you prefer that, it works. But of course, it matches the black convoy. Now, I do recommend it. It is a hard find. So there you have it. This is my review on the Jafcon exclusive uh, Generation 1 reissue. Uh, black repaint Optimus Prime uh, Convoy black convoy in Japan and uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, Please Watch my channel as I will try to do more reviews in the near future This has been Minnesota 36. Thank you for watching